What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Wondershare Filmora. Now for those wondering what is Filmora, it's a video editor and me personally I think it competes with Sony Vegas. On top of that it's also way cheaper. Now just before I get into this video if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So this is Filmora right here and as you can see it's currently unregistered but this is what happens with the trial, what happens when you're registered. So of course we have the main downside which is the export and share video without a watermark. We will have a watermark because we're not registered. But anyway getting into it. This is the basic layout and I'm really really impressed with what this actually offers. Starting off with the basics, up here you can change from a light skin or a dark skin. So maybe like daytime you can go with the, uh, the light skin, then at night go with the dark skin to help your eyes. Over here we have file, edit, export and then help. Pretty basic. and. As you'll see on the file we have a new project, we can open a project in 16x9 or 4x3. For YouTube videos of course it is going to be 16x9 because that's going to give us the best resolution. Now you'll see coming down it says download media, you can actually download things from Facebook, Instagram and Flickr so it's a very nice feature they've added in. In addition to that you can have record media and as you can see you can record from your webcam, record your PC screen or record a voiceover. So moving on, this is the media folder here, and of course this is where your videos, your photos, and all the other stuff will be. So I'm going to import something here, as you can see. Uh, it's me playing CSGO, I believe, yes, as you can see right there. So I've imported that in, and as you can see, we can just come across the timeline, like that. We can even just play through here, and come across. Then moving on, we have music. Now, really, really impressed with what they've added here. As you can see you have a bunch of different songs listed uh, in different genres and you also have sound effects. Now this is something very unique I haven't seen in many other softwares but they've actually implemented sound effects for us. So I believe they're obviously all non-copyright otherwise they wouldn't be here but they've implemented all of them here for us. On to the next thing is text or credit so of course this is where you're going to be adding on your text. And again, just look at the type of text you can add in. It is really amazing what you can add in. So we're going to add one. As you can see, it just says add to project. We're pressing the plus button. And as you can see, it is down here. It's next to the T, which is our text on the timeline. So we're going to double click it. And this is what we're presented with. As you can see, this is uh, the text we have. So we can come here and just edit it. So uh, maybe subscribe, like, and share. And then the title. Uh, right here. This is going to be too big but of course we can always size it down so just control A comes to the size over here maybe 44 a bit too big just like that and then of course we can come here and position it in the middle just like that. It even has a snap on so it tells you when you're in the middle again a really nice feature I like and just like that we've made that so look how simple that was. I'm really impressed with this software I know I've said it so many times so uh, the next thing as you can see we have text styles over here and we can also change the animation. Of course once you're done you just select OK and you're good to go. So that could be like your intro right there. And as you'll see they have a bunch of different types of text you can have and as you can see they even have lower thirds for you so very very helpful. And if we head over to filters you can add filters to your videos, your pictures, whatever you're adding in and they're actually really good filters as well as you can see there's a ton of filters and again the one downside is because we're not registered it will come out with a watermark when we render it but this is just letting you see what it's like. You can even see here they have Instagram like for so for those that know uh, what Instagram is and what type of filters they have if you like a particular one it could be here. And then moving on to overlays. Now overlays again similar to filters you can drag it on top of your videos and you can choose the opacity once it's dragged on. So I'm actually going to add one on right now. I'm going to drag on my video. As you can see we just drag and drop. We have the video here and we underneath we have uh, the audio track. And I'm just going to split this to when I actually get into the game. There we go. And as you'll see right now the text is there so that means the text is going to play on top. 
like that. So it's a very nice intro. And if you're wondering why the gameplay is lagging, that's just how the recording came out. It's not actually the software. So just be aware of that. So the next thing, it was overlays. And um, let's just look for one we can add on. So for example, a cinema flare pack. Uh, let's add on this one right here. So we just press that plus button in the middle. Of course it has to download because it's not always on there by default. But it's very quick to download as you can see. We've just added it on here it is right now. And as you can see the flare did come across. So if I just drag it up here and play it through. Just like that. It increases the brightness. Uh, it actually goes across the screen. You just can't see it as well. So if we just uh, go through this. As you can see it is going across the screen. And then it just goes away like that. And of course to get rid of it we just left click it here and select delete and it's gone like that. The next thing is elements. Now again another feature I really like. Um, as you can see we've got vacation, love, shapes, hand drawing, bunch of different stuff here. Um, so for example I'm going to add on, let's just add on arrows. So I'm going to press this add to project. As you can see we can choose where we actually want it to happen. We can press this and then as you can see, arrows just come across our screen like that, because that's what we added on. But again, really impressive feature. Uh, as you can see, there is just not one, there's actually 321 in total. Of course, you do need to download them when you are going to add them on. The next thing is transitions. Of course, something that's used a lot in editing. So let's add one on. Uh, we'll add one onto the start of the clip. So I'm going to add on the turn, so add to project. So as you can see it's been added on at the end of our clip and at the moment it's not doing anything because it's just ending there. So let's just come here and drag back the transition a bit, maybe about there. And now if we play this through it should give us a turn or like a flip. As you can see just like that and it goes off screen. Really nice transition, again there's 94 different transitions. The next thing, split screen. This thing I am super impressed with because when I made a tutorial in Sony Vegas, you actually had to insert numbers, get the right numbers, otherwise it wouldn't look good. With this, it is so much simple. So uh, let's say, for example, we go for a split screen. So press this. As you can see, there's one and two. There's also drop zone one and drop zone two. So you import any media you actually want and you just drag and drop it into that specific one. As you can see it is in there and of course it's not going to show the full uh, actual screen otherwise it's going to be stretched. So it's just picked a specific part and then you can line up what you actually want to show. So I want to come to the middle of the screen because of course we will be playing CSGO on this. And you can see here you can come across on the timeline so you can see what it's going to look like. Uh, here we go. So I want it like this and then of course we need to add something else in drop zone 2. So again we're going to import a file. So I drag this on and drag it in drop zone 2. And if we come across for this one. And at the bottom we have Keemstar. So that's what I just dragged in. Uh, it's actually my MLG photo booth effect in Sony Vegas. You can go ahead and check that out in the description. So now we have two videos imported. And it's just split screen like that. So let's just play through. As you can see the top one's playing. And the bottom one will play, it's just I drag this all the way up, so if I drag it back down. And then of course here you can choose a border, you don't even have to have a border. But as you can see you can choose different border colours. Of course you can uh, come here and what this does, you can record a voiceover. Here you can take a screenshot, here is the volume control. And then of course you can put it full screen to see what it looks like. Now another thing here, we have a volume mixer. So as you can see we can choose uh, the video. So this video is obviously for CSGO, if we have any music in there we can adjust it from here and then we have the master volume which controls everything. Now let's say you're really zoomed in or you're really zoomed out and of course it's a bit of a pain to just keep going like this and then lining it up. So you can come here and press this button, as you can see it zooms to fit the timeline. And then of course the final thing to do is export. So if we select OK here. And as you can see, export. We have all these different formats. Obviously, WMV or MP4 is going to be the main one for YouTube. So you can even call your name here. You can choose where you want to save it. The resolution is currently 1280 by 720. It tells you the duration and the file size. So if I head over to settings, I want the quality to be best. Encoder, of course, that one as always. Resolution we can change here. You can go up to 4K. 
1920 by 1080 of course is probably the main one for YouTubers. Uh, the frame rate up to 60 FPS and everything else looks pretty good so you can just select OK, export and as you can see it comes up with this, just continue and it's going to begin to export. As you can see you have a finish action here so you can have a sound reminder, you can shut down your computer or do nothing. And of course with the trial we get a watermark and as you can see right here this will be the watermark so it is best to just buy it but it depends. Uh, try out the trial first if you like it then of course buy it. Now definitely way cheaper compared to Sony Vegas. I believe Sony Vegas is about $600. As you can see a one year license for this is just $30 a year. Lifetime license $50 might as well go for that. And then of course multi users so if you want to install it on maybe one or two depending on how many PCs as you can see right here. You can select it from here and it gives you a lifetime license or a one year license. Now I know although the way I've presented this video it looks like Wondershare have hit me up and told me to do this but they actually haven't. I've been asked this multiple times to do tutorials on this software and I decided to do it. It's my first time using it and honestly I'm actually really impressed with it. The price as well, super cheap. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.